Paperless movement, your productivity, your way. Hey there, and welcome to a sneak peek of the brand new ClickUp 3.0 UI UX changes. I'll take you on a journey through the most significant updates and features. But if you're itching for a complete deep dive, make sure to join the Paperless Movement membership for an exclusive 30-minute exploration. Or subscribe to this channel to stay up to date on the latest ClickUp updates. So without further ado, let's dive into the future of productivity with ClickUp 3.0. The sidebar. All right, you see it's a lot cleaner in general, the UI UX, I really like it. Everything is a lot cleaner and replaced. So for, you see, for example, on the top right, you have now all the features that we usually had down here. So now we have here, I can open up my tasks here. I have the calendar that I can open up. We can track the time here and we can create a note very easily and then set a reminder, create a chat. And that's something I'm confused about that I'm able to create a chat here rather than accessing existing chats. So I'm not sure if they will add something here on the sidebar. And I would expect having a dedicated chat section here. And then we can create a doc very quickly out of this. And then we have even more. And this is actually the section where we can select what you want to show on top. So we can click more and then we have all the things here. So I like how clean this is and how you can set this up. And then here are the additional options that we are used or have been used from the profile picture on the bottom left down there. Okay, so this is what we had up here, all the things. Now we have the search bar here, which is also command K. I love it that this is becomes a really common thing as a shortcut for so many tools. So command K and you get the command bar. You can just start writing to search things. I like their new search. They launched it already. The search, this should be already available in the 2.0 ClickUp. And there are a lot of features they actually already released secretly, more or less, uh, that are ClickUp 3.0 features. So the feeling of not having access to ClickUp 3.0 is really that we don't have the new interface yet in the public version. So here we have the new sidebar on the side, so we can close this. And I really like how, again, clean this is. And I can click there and now I have access to my different space areas here. And then also you see already here the new colors. And that's the great thing. If we go, for example, to the YouTube videos workflow, there you see when we click in there, the new list style. All right, so here it's grouped by due date, but we could go, for example, by status. And then you see here, that's the new style. And I really like this progress bar. I think this looks amazing. And what I really like and I never liked before is when I picked a color here that everything here, the background was yellow and this is no longer a thing. It just indicates on top what we are in. Maybe we zoom in. So with command plus, we can zoom in a bit to see a bit more things. So we have a drop down here and now you see this is goal related. That's our definitions for the colors. So I could click here and change this now. And this is actually the list color. I really like this. So when we open this up here, you see here's the list color goal related. Here's optimization things. For example, if we go to the interviews here, it says optimization. So this is the definition of i where we define what is high priority goals, what is optimization goals. And then if something urgent occurs, and it's very unlikely that we need a whole list for an urgent task, but it's possible. So I would just switch this to urgent. And when we complete things, because we have projects that are tied to quarters, and once we complete this, then we switch this to completed. And therefore we always see what is already finished. So that's something I really like. And then before we dive deeper into the list view, we have here the home option. So there will be a new home 3.0. I had a quick look at this and then I deactivated it to fix a few things, but I can say it's a lot cleaner already and I like it how you can structure your home view. So I'm really excited to show you this and I will give an updated video as soon as this appears. And then here we have the new inbox and the new inbox is the notification sections that you knew before. So you have here, for example, the activity and now you can have mark as red or clear. So I can mark it as red and it stays still in there. So that's something I really like. What I would love 
is actually to snooze the notification. And that's something that seems not to be here yet. But for example, when I make this unread or a red and I click here, it opens up the task on the sidebar. And I really like this. Okay, so I can stay now in the inbox. And I think it's no need to open this here because that's again confusing that it opens up the task here. I'm not sure why. Ah, okay. And then it shows all the things that happened here. That's something I don't know because it reset my notifications the moment I entered the beta. And I have to see new notifications coming in order to understand what's going on. So the messages, I'm also not so sure what this is about. So if it is the comments that mention me, or is it actual chat messages that I receive? Because that would be amazing. This would actually centralize all the scattered chat windows into one place and they can answer in any places. That would be great. But therefore, we are not using chat, so I cannot test it. I'm not sure if this is really it. And then when we click here, we can also show the cleared things. So cleared notifications will appear here as well. Then on top, you see now the favorites bar. That's still there. I can unpin it and it's gone. Now the favorites bar is here. You have the favorites. I can just click there. It will open up the things. And then I can search in my favorites or I can pin it and then it will disappear again and will go on top. I prefer to have it on top. Uh, I have quick access to this. And also for the tasks that are sent into the tray. So for example, when we click on a task and we want to add more to the tray, we just go to the three dots here and then we have add to. And in here now, we can add it to different places. I really like it because now I can choose to actually work on this and we can send it to the lineup to a specific person. So if I send it to myself, it will appear in my home. Let's close this and there we have the lineup. Or if I open this up again, and I had to put it here to the tray and it appears down here. I think it's quite down here because accidentally I could come in here and that's something I really don't like touching this and then it comes up. But I made a good job with the reaction time. So you see as soon I come in there, it shows up that I can click on this and I can actually unpin the tray. So now on here and I can click there and now I have all the different pinned information here. If I pin it again, it will show it this way. I prefer to have it this way. So I have always quick access and I can quickly remove again from the tray. That's really something I like. We're done with this quick tour. Tom's got an awesome deep dive video for you in our paperless movement membership. So what are you waiting for? Join us now, watch the deep dive and let's chat about any questions you've got. Remember, it's all about boosting your productivity, your way.